Yo, what's happening gamers? It's Roll Easy and I'm back today with a brand new method for the solo money glitch. Guys, this is the Sultan RS dupe glitch and I just wanted to point out that the other method is still working where you uh, where you have to unplug your controller. A lot of people think it's patched. It's really not. It's just super hard to hit. Now, it's really difficult. So is this one, but the other one is even more difficult and more inconvenient. Reason being, because you actually have to unplug your controller or you can use the resync method also if you want to resync it uh, if you got an Xbox. So it's just, it's really a pain in the ass, I'm not going to lie, but it does work. It took me 40 plus tries to even get that one to work, to be honest with you. So I really suggest doing this method right here. I'm going to show you both money glitches. Uh, for those of you that are new to, uh, to this, you're going to need the MOC with the personal vehicle storage. The Sultan RS uh, does duplicate the best. The uh, the Donk also works. And I think there's a couple more Benny's vehicles as well. But I would definitely recommend the Sultan RS. It does work the best. Uh, make sure for this first glitch, you do not need custom plates. For the second one, you're going to need custom plates. And uh, you want to fill up a garage with Faggios. Make sure they're, they're not in your MC clubhouse because it will not work properly. The cars cannot transfer over to the MC Clubhouse, all right? This ain't, you know, GTA back two years ago when we were doing the Clubhouse duplications. <laughs> um, yeah, so that won't work. So you gotta keep that over there. Uh, so you gotta keep all your Fagios in a regular 10 car garage, six car garage, whatever. Just make sure it's not in the MC Clubhouse and throw yourself in an invite only session. And uh, yeah, so make sure you, uh, if you do have a motorcycle club uh, president, you know, if you got an MC clubhouse, it does work better. So you can use your uh, motorcycle club uh, menu to be able to return vehicle to storage. So whenever you do screw up, uh, you can just return to storage simply just like that. And then you can continue and try the glitch again. But as you can see right here, this is actually me failing a bunch of times. So this is the new method. You actually press Y to get in the car, Y or triangle, whatever system you're on, whether it's PlayStation 7 or Sega Dreamcast, whatever you guys got. And what you need to do is you press Y to get in the car. And the second, right after you press Y, you're going to be holding down left trigger or L2 about, I don't know, I'd say a third of the way, maybe a quarter of the way, whatever you want to do. You really got to play with it. And, uh, and then you're holding start as well. So you're holding the start button and the reverse, but not the not all the way, all right? And then right when the engine starts is when you're gonna let go of them, okay? So right here, I'm gonna press Y. Now I'm holding left trigger and start button. Now when the engine starts and I'm about to back out, I let go of both of them. And look what happens. So you see that little thing, you know, the door started to open and the pause menu came up and the screen went black. That is a successful try right there. Now you don't always get it successfully. I It took me, I kid you not, it took me about 20 plus tries to finally get this. You can find a rhythm, but I have had no such luck with that, but I did get it a few times and I wanted to show you guys what the result is. I keep getting this for some reason, you know, where the cars are glitched into each other, you tap on it and then boom, it pops out, uh, you know, the car pops out. So yeah, that's how you get glitched out now. Now, uh, I'm going to show you this method, the first glitch. For this one, you do not need custom plates. You just need your Fagios and uh, no crazy startup money or anything like that. Now, the next method I will show you is a little bit different. But for now, you're going to go ahead and request one of your Fagios. Now, I have three Fagios in my Del Piero uh, garage, which is right next to us over here. Your MOC does help if it's on a flat surface. Mine is as well. Some people do it across the street over here. I found that I do have success when I back the MOC up right there because it's on a flat surface and I can't actually get the animation but you're gonna go ahead and get your Fagio and at this moment I actually just wanted to show you guys my garage I showed it to you in the beginning of the video but I wanted just to make sure that you guys can really see before I start the glitch so this is the garage we're using Del, Del Perro apartment 4 and look at that I got three Fagios at the uh, the last slots right there okay so this is one of those Fagios that I just called up I only have three on the in, in all my garages so now I'm going to go ahead and drive the Faggio in. It's going to ask me to transfer. What this just did is it transferred my original over to the garage where the Faggio came from. And now check this out. The Faggio is actually glitched inside the car. This is what you want to see. All right. So right there, I got my Faggio glitched in the car. And right now the, the game still doesn't know that there's a duplicate in there. It just knows that there's a Faggio. And this is how I'm going to prove that to you. Go to Legendary Motorsports, sort by price, order the LG RHA. It doesn't matter what color. And go ahead and order to the MOC. Now check out the MOC, what it says. It says Faggio right there. Go ahead and replace it. So now the Faggio is gone, and there's your dupe. You're going to go ahead and drive the dupe out. Check out the custom plate, Icarus. Now watch when I drive out. The plate's actually going to change. All right, so here we go. There it is. I have a brand new generic plate. Now that plate came from the Faggio. This is why you don't need uh, custom plates for this glitch itself. 
Now, you're gonna go ahead and drive it right back in and don't be alarmed, but the car is gonna disappear. The only reason it's gonna disappear is because your RH8 still hasn't been delivered yet. So right here, I'm just gonna be waiting. I'm gonna actually skip forward to uh, to me getting the RHA just so you guys don't have to wait, you know, shitload of time to uh, to get that. So here we go, I spawn back, it pushes me out of the way. You can see I get the message right there, RHA was delivered. And there you go, I'm gonna look at the plate. That's the same exact car, the 04 plate that I just had before. And that's it, here is our duplicate. Now I drive it out and back in just to make sure it's saved. That's just something I do, I've always done that. Um, I've had friends get you know their cars taken away especially because it took so long but this glitch if you don't have custom plates, I get it. You got to do this one. The problem is you have to get glitched out every single time and you have to wait for an RHA to get delivered every single time. So it's very time consuming. That whole time was just for one dupe, you know, so it does take a little bit of time. So I definitely would recommend the second method if you guys do have custom plates and the second method I'm going to be doing very soon. I just wanted to show you guys the garage, me driving right back. And what I'm gonna do is transfer my original car, which is this one right here. I know that it's that one because I had the Fagios in the last three slots. And now my original car is actually back in the MOC, and this is a duplicate right here. Okay, so now here we go. We're gonna jump into uh, the other duplication glitch, the easier way with custom plates. Uh, you do need about a million dollars to do this glitch. That's the only downside, but here we go. We're gonna get glitched out. So I press Y and then immediately hold left trigger about a quarter of the way and the start button. Now I'm gonna wait for the engine to actually start. Once it fully starts and it's about to back up, I'm letting go. And you see the door slightly opens, the pause menu comes up, that's what you wanna see, all right? The screen turns black and you end up outside without the car, nothing like that. Remember, if the car's under the MOC, at the docks, invisible, return to storage with the MC President menu. That's why we got it, all right? So now I go back in there, check it out. The cars are glitched into each other once again. So I touch it and look what it does now. It's just in the middle, like horizontal through the other car and it's just spazzing out completely. And uh, it won't stop a lot of the time. When it's like that, it'll just keep going and going and going. Uh, if you actually go outside and then back in, the cars nicely stack on top of each other, but you know, it doesn't really matter. So now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and open up the internet in your phone, go to Warstock, and we're gonna renovate the MOC. So you're gonna go over to Bay 2, and you're gonna hit on the Weapon and Vehicle Workshop. Go ahead and hit OK, renovate 955 grand, and buy it. So when that happens, it's actually gonna kick you out of the MOC because it needs to renovate and you're inside of it. So now once you're outside, you do have to wait about a few seconds. You can see in the top left the, uh, the notification there. But uh, yeah, you gotta wait to be, to be able to enter again. And I'm actually just gonna show you once again my list in the Del Piero garage. I did this part of the video right after the other one. So you see I still have those two Fagios left in slots eight and nine. And I'm gonna go ahead and open up and request one of my Fagios with the MC menu. And the Fagios out there, I don't need to drive it this time. I just need to have it out on the street. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go back into the MOC and you're gonna see that the car is actually glitched in there. And on this particular uh, time, my door is actually gonna be completely off. So I'm gonna have to repair the vehicle. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see right there, it's kind of screwed up, but it's all good. The car is glitched down and I have my custom plate. Remember, you need custom plates for this one. So I went ahead and repaired. Now I'm gonna go to plate. You wanna change the color and then you wanna change the actual plate itself, okay? Change it to whatever plate. I do recommend having multiple plates and then hit exit vehicle. Don't hit exit MOC, all right? You wanna leave on foot, not with the car. The car is actually gonna end up bricked if you leave with the car. I've tried it before, so don't try it. Uh, yeah, so now I'm outside and I've already successfully duped one car. I'm just gonna go ahead and return the Fagio to storage and that's one Sultan duped. So I'm gonna go ahead and request the last Fagio that I do have in that garage. Just put it out there on the street and now I'm gonna go ahead and run right back into the MOC. Now, once you're in the MOC, you guys know what to do. You, you could literally keep doing this. That's why I do recommend this method. You only have to get glitched out one time. You just hop into the glitched out car inside the vehicle workshop, press right on the D-pad to modify and go, go ahead and go to your plates, change the color, and change the plate. Now, press B to back out, exit vehicle, and then exit the MOC on foot. Now that we're outside, your Fagio is actually still gonna be there. And uh, it's actually a Sultan RS if you were to check your mechanics list already, but I'm gonna just go ahead and return it to storage right now. And now I'm gonna call up my mechanic and show you guys that indeed those last two Fagios turned into dupes. And here we go, Del Perro, and boom, there you go. There's all dupes right there in that garage now. 
So I just showed you guys the two methods, or the two different glitches, how to do them, and then the new method on how to do it, okay? Like I said, this isn't a way easier method, but it is a much more convenient. You don't have to keep unplugging and plugging back in your controller if you keep failing, and you will fail many times doing that other method. You will fail this, you know, with this one too. It'll take some getting used to, but at least you're gonna have, uh, it's more convenient because you don't have to, you know, replug or resync your controller every single time you fail. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys the plates right here. That's the virus with the white plate that I just made, that dupe. And then there's the yo plate right there, the yo yo plate with the blue, all right? That's where the dupes ended up, right where the fagios were. Just like that, guys. And uh, I'm gonna show you right now, if you do, once again, if you drive out that glitched out car, it's gonna be, it's gonna be bricked completely. And then it actually bricks you from any other vehicle that you wanna drive. I found this out yesterday by testing this glitch out. It completely bricks every single freaking car you wanna get into. So I would highly suggest once you're done doing this method right here, go ahead and renovate the MOC and go ahead and bring back your personal vehicle storage because you're going to have to buy it anyways, you know, again, if you plan on uh, if you plan on doing anything else or any other types of dupe glitches later on down the road. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to show you guys right here buying the personal vehicle storage again. Once again, you don't have to do this. I'm just done with the glitch. I just wanted to show you guys something interesting, actually. Uh, this I found out today. So I went ahead and I went back over there and guess what? There's actually still two Fagios inside that garage to my, sub or sorry, not two Fagios, two Sultans inside the MOC when you change it back to personal vehicle storage. Check this shit out. They're both in there and they're both all crazy. So could this lead to something else? I, I don't know. We already have a dupe glitch. Maybe we can find something else with this, but I, I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's all pretty crazy. I'm not going to lie. But uh, yeah, guys, that's all I have for you today. Once again, you know, like always, if you have any questions, go ahead and put them down in the comments. I know you guys probably will. This is not the easier method. This is this is the more convenient method. I wouldn't say the easier method, but it does work much better without having to resync and replug in your controllers every single time. And yeah, um, so that's it. That's all I got for you. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like it, comment, subscribe, and turn on them post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content on the whole web. <laughs> All right, and I got another video coming out tonight, probably something interesting. I haven't seen many people post, so stay tuned for that as well. You guys that like to stay, you know, throughout all my videos and through the whole thing. All right, peace out, guys.